Greetings of peace and beauty upon you, friends. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. I'm Father Ron. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 13, How Long? How long, O God, how long? How long must I wait to see your face, to feel your presence? How long till I figure things out, heal from my wounds, feel whole again? How long must I live with these longings? with no more than hints and guesses to go on. Look on me and give me answers, Lord. Light up my eyes. I put my trust in your love. I know that you hold me in the arms of life, whether I feel it or not. If trust and longing are all that I have, then that is enough. And I will sing. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelations. Chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy, All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. We hear these words and we think about a different time. We think about the time of the people in the desert. We think about the time of the people when God actually stepped in out of the wilderness, out of the darkness, out of creation, and came to their aid. God did so much for the people, and it seemed like it was a different time, and so they proudly sang out, we live in a different time today. We live in a time of, I don't know, it's kind of like saying, you want to say decadence? A time of power? a time of manly, humanly authority where no one thinks about God or even God stepping out of the darkness or out of creation to assist them in anything. Yet, for some reason, we continue to pray and we call that prayer something real because we know it's something real for us. But do we really expect God to step out of the darkness and out of the wilderness to truly help us? Or do we really think that it's something that we can accomplish on our own? You see, God is great. And God did step out in time. And God did do something for the people. But God has also shown us that there are a lot of things that we can do for ourselves. There are a lot of things that we can accomplish on our own. We don't always have to go to God for every small little thing. And we even say things, you know, kind of haphazardly. Oh, Lord, help me. Or Lord, have mercy. Or oh, my God. We say these things, but do we really understand what we're saying when we say them? God has accomplished so much in our world and in our creation And that creation is ongoing. But also we have to understand that we 
are called to do for ourselves. We are also called to do for our world. We are also called to make a difference. It's not just depending on God, but it's also our own power, what God has given to us, what God has accomplished within us. And these are the things that we should never forget, that God has given us strength. We have developed our world in such a way But we cannot and should not, through our own arrogance, feel that God is no longer there, that we don't need to ask, that we don't need to seek. God is the truth, and everything should be done for the greater honor and glory of God. Our task today is to do our best best to recreate our world each and every day. And in doing so, acknowledging the greatness of God, of what God has done for us, and what God continues to do through us, let us make the world a wonderful place, and let us truly give God the praise. Yes, Who would fear the Lord, knowing what all that God has created? And yet at the same time, let us never think that because of who we are, we can accomplish it all ourselves. May the Lord continue to strengthen us and help us on this journey of recreation. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, let me find a quiet place where I may pray and gain perspective. Help me to use this prayer time to learn your ways and, like you, to hear the cry of the poor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.